All right, now I have the Boston Whaler 420 Outrage right behind me with triple 600 V12s from Mercury. So we're gonna jump on, take a look around the boat, and obviously show you the performance with the new outboard setup. There's a look, and as big as these outboards are, they seem right at home on these large center consoles. Incredible power, ease of maintenance, a lot of benefits to these outboards. We're gonna get into detail here throughout the two days. So welcome aboard the uh, Boston Whaler 420 Outrage. Today we're going to test a boat with the brand new triple 600 Verados. One of the first things you're going to take away from this experience today is the auto start feature that is right on the uh, throttle controls. Now when I hit that button, it is going to sequence the engines on, which is absolutely amazing. One thing you definitely notice off the bat is that you barely don't hear anything besides the water pressure, you know, flowing through the engine. There's Absolutely. no sound with all that horsepower back there. Earlier in the day, we had the generator running. And one of the things that I noticed was that for, for our experience here of the engines, the generator was far louder than <laughs> yep. the 1800 horsepower that we have on the back. Now, along with that though, we also do get the one lever controls um, the throttles and the auto trim buttons right here on the uh, on the throttle control, which makes it very convenient. Now, the first takeaway for me is okay, guys, clear. Um, is you know we're so accustomed to watching the engines articulate in the back, and uh, in this case here, uh, the engines are not moving. What you know, what we have down below is the pod uh, generating the thrust to move the boat sideways. We set it up so that you see the rudder indicator on the top, and then that top right number is the actual angle. Right, okay. Just so you guys at home watching, one of the questions I had driving up here is how do you know where the heck your rudder is, is facing um, if these are always stationary, your outboard is stationary. And we got that answered very quickly. You can see this red little line here. As he turns to the starboard direction, you can see it moving and it actually tells you the exact degree angle that you're at. So you know exactly where you're at without ever having to look uh, back to the stern of the boat. Another detail is with the joystick, no matter what angle you're at, as soon as you engage that, and maybe you can show yeah, us real yeah. quick. So we'll engage the skyhook. You know, one of the things that our Boston Whaler owners are looking for is just that experience. And right now it is in skyhook. We are in a beam wind, so there's a little bit of a current. Um, and you can just really hear that you don't hear the engines. You no, don't hear at all. anything going on in the back there. And it's really gonna be, give you the ability to you know, be able to have this conversation at a normal voice level. Yeah. Oh, incredible, the amount of horsepower back there. And, and it's actually yes. engaged right now. So it's holding us in place, correct? Yes. Yeah, it's holding us in place. It's holding our bearing. So and, um, even with a bit of wind, you can see it, it, yeah. it kicked us there, but it wasn't, you know, you didn't hear any of that clangy bangy no. stuff. It's very smooth right. um, and extremely quiet. We're like he was saying yeah. right underneath here, being able to speak with, with no problem at all. Um, extremely impressive yeah. from these engines. Absolutely. And, and then, then of, course, of course, not seeing them move yeah. at all is another thing. It's, That's another thing. It takes some getting used to, but it's definitely a nicer feature than yeah. having that entire you know, outboard swing uh, from port to starboard. Right, right, right. Well, here we go then.
So what Bill was telling us here, this boat is 32,000 pounds. I mean, we're running with triple engine, which is absolutely incredible. Gets out of the hole quickly, and we were reaching, what was the top speed we saw there, Bill? Uh, 62. About 62 miles per hour. With full fuel. Full of fuel, quite a few people on board. Everything's super smooth. Coming over uh, another, another boat's wake here. But incredible that it's doing this with triple engines. That's the crazy part about all this. Would you like to give us a tour? Sure. Okay, so we're here with Will Rogers, which is gonna take us on a quick tour on a beautiful 420 Boston Whaler Outrage. Let's start at the, the highlight engines. of the show today, if you don't mind. Yeah, let's do that. Because, you know, one of the things that we have to understand as we are all boaters, is that we do have to do maintenance to our engines and our boats from of time course. to time. What Mercury has done is it have made it extremely simple to check all of the fluids on the boat. Look at that. So here we have the dipstick, the oil fill, the transmission fluid, and when it comes time to change the lower unit lube or the transmission lube, there's a port right over here on the starboard side which will allow you access to pump them out right at the marina. You don't have to take the boat out of the water, really? which is a really key and critical thing wow. for these larger center consoles. But Incredible. it's all here. We have 200 hour service intervals uh, that is just incredible i know in south florida we put a lot of hours on our boats but sure. uh, that is a great service interval and when you have to do something it's all right here and uh, obviously we can put that back down that's incredible and even with that thing open it's extremely quiet extremely and then when you quiet. shut it down it seems like they're off but yeah, these things yeah. are you know so triple 600s on our um, 420 outrage of course you might be back here with our two teak tables uh, entertaining or, or having the family out for a fun day and mm -hmm. now the noise level is much 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 less uh, on our particular boat obviously uh, 420 outrage has been around for a few years uh, it is a venerable venerable boat uh, we have our dive door over here to the port side uh, that is complemented by a dive ladder right here on the uh, stern seat uh, as we move forward our bait prep area here uh, which is uh, going to have us uh, access to our live well wow. and of course a small grill over here and uh, you know there's nothing nicer than having a couple lobsters in the live well going right <laughs> yeah. onto the grill uh, paper napkin here a nice sink and storage but one of the key things of our boat here is we can obviously see uh, three forward facing seats is the ability to take this bolster here which by the way has full air conditioning mm and convert that into another seat. So we can do that very easily by pulling a lever. Wow. And then flipping it up to where you have a full forward facing seat. One of the key things here too is for our folks who are sitting here, they have the same view as the captain. So they're not looking down at the back of a seat or anything like that. As we come up to the helm, uh, you can see that this one has our teak uh, helm option. Uh, really nice uh, CNC teak uh, accents on the helm and of course it's complemented by uh, three 16-inch uh, Ray Marines uh, including our digital switching panel for the boat which will control all of the lights and features of the boat. This is a very very ergonomically uh, pleasing uh, helm station which includes a, uh, a helm step up and uh, that is just going to allow you to have a little more visibility as we were commenting earlier. Sure. What a great uh, vantage point you have here. And then of course we have a, uh, a nice toss tray up here where you can put your cell phone, wallet, what have you. And that's complemented by an overhead uh, enclosure storage or life preserver storage, whatever you might want to do. But one of the key things here on our Boston Whalers is we have a lot of point of view storage. So if you have the enclosure here, it's right here where you use it. The dive ladder is right by the dive door. And right. if you know, we go up to the windlass compartment, you sign the windlass tools right next to the windlass. So a lot of thoughtful engineering here. As we move forward, we can see that uh, there's ample walkways here with uh, plenty of storage, port and starboard. Uh, and then we have one of the key areas of our boat, which is our forward lounge. Uh, so many of the times, I know you've heard this, we fish on Saturday, we go with the family on Sunday. 
Well, yep. this is an area where you can easily convert to having a family activity on, on, a, on a beautiful Sunday morning. Um, we have not only a beautiful table here, but the forward facing seating does articulate up to give you a forward uh, backrest. Uh, there's at easily three or four, uh, each one of these with their, their own little cup holder and so mm. forth. And then uh, one of the key things here though, that we do have is uh, again, tons of storage, uh, whether it's under these cushions here or all the way around, yeah, it seems like you have utilized every single spot possible to, to create either uh, an additional feature, some added storage, or, yep. you know, this is really nice up here. So whether you're entertaining, as I said, going out with a family on a Sunday or fishing on a Saturday, um, you can take these cushions up. There's non-skid under all of it, uh, and that just makes a great casting platform uh, when you're offshore fishing. Yeah. Well, that's a, a real high-level tour of the 420 Outrage. Uh, I definitely appreciate again, that. Uh, we encourage everybody to go to bostonwhaler.com to get more information. Our new website has uh, just a bevy of pertinent information on our boats, and it's been my pleasure. No, it's been our pleasure. Thank you very much. That was much better than I could have ever done. We're going to put the drone in the air, show some exterior footage, obviously get uh, some more numbers on the 600 outboards, and thank you guys very much for joining us here today. So we're actually spinning the boat to dock it and we did a full 360. You can see, I believe he's using the joystick right now. Engines don't move. The gear cases are smooth when they crank them in gear. You're not hearing any of that clanging and banging. And obviously this whole piece isn't sliding left to right. So there's a lot less stress and strain on the, on the outboard. So that concludes our sea trial on the 420 Boston Whaler Outrage and just incredible to see the power of the 600 Vrados. Triple engines pushing this boat, which is a 32,000 pound center console up to 62, 63 miles an hour. Just unbelievable that there's that much power back there and you just don't hear them at all. You don't see the engines move. It's almost as if they're turned off. Unreal. Can't wait to learn more about these engines and thankful that we got the opportunity to finally jump on a Boston Whaler 420 Outrage. If you find value in these videos, please subscribe, share with your friends, and we look forward to seeing you again very soon.